Welcome to React.js introduction tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn what is React.js, what are components, extensions and apps for React.js, introduction to JSX. So what is React.js? React is a flexible JavaScript library for building user interfaces. It is maintained by Facebook and a community of individual developers. It is currently one of the most popular JavaScript front-end libraries which has a strong foundation and a large community supporting it. React can be used as a base in the development of single-page applications or mobile applications. Projects which you can build using React.js You can build tic-tac-toe You can create music player you can create notes app, you can create quiz app, you can create to-do list, feather app. If you have not subscribed great stack, then subscribe now for updated and quality coding content. After completing this course, you will be ready to apply for React job. Major companies which hire React JS developers are Google, Amazon, Netflix and Uber. Let's see the JavaScript concepts that is required to learn React.js. First, understanding of let and const, then arrow functions and exports and imports, understanding classes, classes properties and methods, the spread and rest operator, destructuring, reference and primitive types, Refreshing array functions, DOM elements. Why you should learn React? As we all know, many JavaScript frameworks like Angular, jQuery, Vue.js, and many more were already in the industry to create applications. Then why React? Because it is simple. React.js is simple because it is a component based language. React developers use JSX which allows them to mix HTML with JavaScript. React is easy to learn. If anyone has prior knowledge in any programming, then he she can easily understand the React. React Native Approach React can be used to create mobile applications using React Native. Data Binding React uses data flow from one component to another component using props. React Performance React is definitely one of the fastest JavaScript frameworks because of virtual DOM. React Testability React.js applications are super easy to test. What are components and why React is all about components? A React component represents a small chunk of user interface in a web page the primary job of a React component is to render its user interface and update it whenever its internal state is changed. React component provides the below functionalities. First, rendering of the user interface, management and handling of events, updating the user interface whenever the internal state is changed. React code is written in a declarative way. React uses declarative way because we write the code that we want and React is in charge of taking our declared code and performing all the JavaScript DOM steps to get us to our desired result. Installation of VS Code Editor The recommended code editor for creating React project is VS Code Editor. I already have VS Code Editor installed on my system. If you have not, you can download it from its official website. Now let's install some of the popular VS Code extensions, which will make your React journey more easier. Our first extension is ES7 React Redux React Native JS Snippets. Our next extension is Prettier Code Formatter. Our next extension is Auto Rename Tag. 
I have installed all extensions which is required for our React journey. Now let's see what are their functionalities. Let's see the functionality of ES7 React Native Snippets. If you want to create a component, then we have to write only RAFC and it will create the whole component. Let's see the functionality of auto rename tag. Every time you rename a tag, the complementary opening and closing tag is renamed by itself to match the new tag name. Let's take the example. We have one h1 tab and we want to convert it into h2 tag. Then we have to rename only one of the two tag and the secondary tag will be renamed automatically. Our next extension is prettier code formatter. So let's understand its functionality. This extension takes your all codes and remove the irregular code base and arrange it. Let's take an example. Here you can see we have five header tags and arranged in irregular manner. Now we are going to arrange it in order. To do it, we have to right click, select the format document and now you can see it is arranged in a proper manner. So let's create our first React app. Before creating it, we have to install Node.js application. It provides us Node Package Manager which is also known as NPM. By using NPM, we are going to create our first React app. So let's download the Node.js app and install it. After installing the Node.js application, we are going to create our first React.js app. We have to open the terminal on our desktop directory. Here we have to write npx create react app and our react app name. I am going to write the app name first react project. and hit enter so it will take 30 seconds to 1 minute for creating the react project. So our project is ready. Now we are going to navigate to the project folder using this command. To run the project we have to use npm start command. Now you can see our first react project is running. Let's open our project in VS Code and analyze the folder structure of react project. To open project in VS Code, we have to right click on the project folder, so more options, then click on open with VS Code. As you can see, these are the files created during installation of our project. Let's check what is git ignore. When sharing your code with others, there are often files or parts of your project you do not want to share. For example, log files, temporary files, hidden files, personal files, etc. Git ignore protect these files to get shared publicly. Package.json Package.json contains descriptive and functional metadata about a project, such as name, version, and dependencies. The file provides the npm package manager with various information to help identify the project and handle dependencies. App.js This is the file for app component. App component is the main component in React which act as a container for all other components. Index.js Index.js is the file that runs initially once the Node.js code is executed. 
it is responsible for our applications startup. Let's modify our project. As you can see, this is the React default project. Here is the React logo, some description and one link. Now we are going to replace these content, add our own logo, our own text and our own link. To do that, we have to go to our VS code in app.js. Here you can see we have the image tag, then paragraph tag and anchor link. First we are going to change the image src is equal to. Here we will add our logo URL. After that we have the paragraph. So we will change this paragraph to a h2 tag. And here we will add our own text. I am writing welcome to great stack. Now this is the anchor link and this is the anchor text. Learn react. We are going to change it and it will be subscribe now. And now we need to save this project and come to Google Chrome. Now you can see the logo has been updated. We have added our own text and updated this anchor link. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will learn how to create a custom component.